My name is Emina. I work with Dr. Lam in Plano, Texas. And regarding artist technology in robotic FUE, um, it is an interesting story about how um, it came about to design robotics in hair restoration. So hair restoration is a very unique field. We're still dependent on a, lo a lot of manual uh, work. We do one hair at a time. Um, FUE is a one hair at a time. So it is interesting to think about the fact that someone who is still using a lot of manual work all of a sudden jumped into this advanced technology, one of the unique um, surgical systems in, in, in the in entire world is used in hair restoration. So like any other story that happens accidentally, someone chatting, talking about something else, and, and then the idea pops up. So um, there was a neurosurgeon and um, dermatologist, his nephew had a, having a dinner, chatting about procedures they're doing. Neurosurgeon was very innovative, putting probes in patients' brain, using imaging system to guide those probes and talking about that. Meanwhile, his um, nephew, who was the dermatologist, talking about hair restoration being um, tedious procedure and tiring, and that was the idea. So it started with a casual conversation, and then the neurosurgeon said, hey, if we can put the probes in someone's brain and, and guide them to perform something, why can't we use the same principle and, and develop something that can extract hair and without physician being bored and tired? So um, fast forward 10 years, last year there was a FDA clean, clearance of the artist system and um, here we are today, we have it here. So it is an interesting when you think about how many ideas come from the casual conversation or something happens kind of in the sidelines. That is what happened with um, development of the, um, the idea, creation of the idea and later development of the artist technology. Thank you.